Salut. Hello everyone. Two weeks ago, I released a video about Apex Legend running better on Linux than on Windows. This content generated a lot of feedback, and I thought it would be appropriate to share with you all my tips for increasing your FPS in Linux. In this video, I will show you step by step how to tweak your Linux environment in order to optimize it for competitive gaming. Are you ready? Let's go! I know, this intro was insane. The game I will be focused on is Apex Legends, but some of those tips can be applied to other games. Let's start with my choice of Linux distribution. As you know, there is thousands of distributions available on the internet, and I did spend a lot of time and energy to find the distribution that fills all my gaming needs. As a gamer, what we are looking for is simple. We need stability, high FPS, and low input lag. As a content creator, I also need to be able to capture my gaming session through OBS. This specific point will have a huge influence in my display server choice. To reach those end goals, I choose Endeavor OS. It's based on Arch, a rolling release distribution, which means you get the latest package, kernel, and driver as soon as they are released. It's super easy to install with a Calamares installer. NVIDIA drivers are included. You have nothing to worry about on this end. It's also super easy to use on a daily basis. You don't need a PhD in computer science to make it run. It is super light resources with XFCE4 as a default desktop environment. And I think the minimalistic, like no bloated aspect of it really fit my taste. It uses X11, which today it works better than Wayland for applications that required capture screen. OBS does not work to date with Wayland and NVIDIA driver. It might change in the future, but it's not the case right now. I won't show you in details how to install it. There is a ton of YouTube tutorial for that. In the case you want to install it fresh, just make sure you select the NVIDIA option while booting from USB key and choose XFCE4 as a desktop environment during the install. Now, could you recreate my environment with another distro? Of course. Is it going to be as easy to install and maintain? Mm, I'm not sure. All the tips I will share in this video are applicable to any other distro running the same desktop environment, XFCE4, and the same display server, X11. I just find Endeavor OS way easier to use. We are done with the distribution requirement. Let's start with the tweaks. Before we jump in, you will see me using the terminal command a lot. I like it and it will facilitate the flow of the video. Just do the same. Also, I'm, I'm not really a GUI type of guy. I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> First thing you need to do is to make sure your NVIDIA drivers are installed. Open a terminal, type NVIDIA-SMI and it should show a graphic with the name of your graphic card on it. If it does not, reinstall the driver. Next step is to install the NVIDIA setting application that gives you access to the NVIDIA control panel inside your desktop. Here, it's the same as Windows. You should not be lost. It looks like a, a little bit different. What you need to focus on is, first, set up your resolution and refresh rate. Choose the native resolution and the highest refresh rate available. Do it for every monitor. Don't tick any of the composition pipeline boxes. Also, you need to disable the vSync. For that, untick sync to vBlank, it's equivalent of vSync in Windows. Just disable it by unticking this one. Super important. Set high performance for the image setting. We want FPS. And also, I like to cheat like the little API visual indicator just to double check that vSync is actually disabled in my game. You can play with the rest. Uh, I, I personally don't. Again, disabling vSync at the operating system level is always a good thing to do. This will reduce by a lot your input lag. So don't forget to do it. Super important. We are done with the NVIDIA driver system settings. Now let's switch to the kernel, to the Zen kernel. This switch is going to make your computer snappier and get every piece of optimization you need out of your hardware. 
To install it, you need to install AKM, a kernel manager, not the gun. Okay. <laughs> Launch the application and add the Zen, the Zen kernel and the Zen kernel header. Boom. You're all done. There is over improved version of kernel you can find on the internet. TKG or Xanmod. You can try those if you want. Personally, I found out the Zen version is doing the job and was really easy to install or end of OS. Don't forget to reboot after install to take the changes in consideration. Another really important setting is to disable the window manager compositor on Linux. This application gives you all the wonderful look on your desktop, the nice blurry and transparent effect, but it also destroys your FPS and increases your input lag if you don't disable it. So to disable it, do as follow. If you still want to have a nice looking desktop, it's easy to create a keyboard shortcut to activate and deactivate on the go. I will share the command in the description below. I personally use Ctrl plus Shift plus Home key to activate the compositor and Ctrl plus Shift plus N key to deactivate it. Enjoy. You know what is really enjoyable too? Is to wear one of those wonderful t-shirts branded La Crème de la Crème Club. Not only you will look really good in them, but you will help me to continue to create good content for you. If this content helps you in any way, please consider to go on my merchandise store and get one of those. You can also support the channel by becoming a member on YouTube or supporting me on Patreon. Thanks in advance. I count on you guys. Back to the optimization. Let's talk about Steam. Steam is a little bit different in Linux than on Windows. After installing it on your favorite distro, make sure you go on Settings and activate both of the shader pre-caching options for DXVK shader. And also, enable in Steam Play Settings the Proton Experimental Compatibility Tool. This is super important to run your game. Without it, some of the recent games won't even launch. There is some exception for the choices of the compatibility tool depending on the game. More on that later in the video. There is also this application called Game Mode. It allows game to request a set of optimization to be temporarily applied to the host OS or game process. It is easy to install and you have to launch your game using a special command. I tried it and did not feel any improvement. However, I read a lot of users had great benefit with it. It is another tool you can try to improve your game performance overall. I will share a link to the GitHub page in the video description. I also read that Pipewire can help to reduce the input lag. I'm not sure about it as I use it by default on my distro. Something you could check on your hand to see if it helps. Two more tweaks I want to mention here. First one is Latency Flex, which is a free alternative to NVIDIA Reflex. It is hardware agnostic, meaning you can use it also on an AMD card. I went through their GitHub and it seemed promising. However, I will not recommend it to use yet as this app could generate some false positive cheat use and get you banned. So don't use it yet. The other application I need to mention is the glorious Eggroll Proton. This Proton version includes numerous fixes including recent Bleeding Edge Proton Experimental Wild. Once installed, you can switch from the Proton Experimental to this version to test the performance. This tweak is super important to use with Apex Legend as it enables the mouse raw input setting in game. What it means is that if you run Apex Legends without the glorious Eggroll Proton version, your mouse speed will be indexed on the mouse speed settings from your desktop environment. So make sure you install and activate glorious Eggroll Proton for Apex Legends. Talking about mouse, don't forget to disable mouse acceleration system wide. It is super easy to do compared to Windows. Go on the Arch Linux wiki, read the instruction, apply and reboot. No more acceleration. You can double check after rebooting using a specific command in your terminal. Boom, you're good to go. Your system is now optimized to launch Apex Legends. But first, you need to install the game. And there is nothing complicated here. Do it like you would do on, on Windows. Then go to the option and make sure you selection Proton GE in the compatibility tab. If you are using game mode, don't forget to add the command line in the launch option. 
I will share my command line in the description below. I use a software called Mango HUD to check my FPS. This is another topic, but I will share the info below. Just choose the right command line depending on your needs. Copy and paste it, easy win. Launch the game and puff, stutter everywhere. You will feel like I lied to you this whole time. Well, I did not. Those stutters are caused by shader needing to be compiled by DX Vulkan at a draw time in game due to difference in how Vulkan and DX 3D11 works. Other games do not have as nearly as many shaders, so it's less of a problem for them. You have two ways to fix this. One option is to play with the game for hours until all the shaders are compiled by your own computer. Or two, you follow the little tutorial made by Rayo on Reddit, and sorry if I destroy your name, in order to download the community-based file to avoid any stutter. I want to thank Rayo and the community for their incredible job on this one. Chapeau Rayo. Download the file, copy it in the right directory, and voila. No more stutter. Now, let's go together in the game setting, make sure you disable vSync to avoid any type of input lag. I'm sharing here my setting, but most important in my opinion is to disable vSync in game. If you went through all those steps, your game should be running at least as fast as on Windows. As you can see, the performance on Linux is here. I can affirm I reach my goal, high FPS and low input lag. I would say that the game runs better in Linux. My 1% lows are way higher and there is no FPS dips like in Windows. Now. The question at $100 million. If you are a competitive Apex Legend gamer, can you use Linux? My answer, yes, yes. Okay, I proved it in this video. There is so many tweaks you can set to get like crazy high FPS and almost, and I would say like no input lag at all. The game runs better than on Windows. So if you are maining this game, Yes, just, just do it. Just try it. Simple as that. Now, guys, if there is anything I forget to mention for this optimization guide, please let me know in the comment below. Also, don't forget to hack the YouTube algorithm. I need you. Press this like button, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. And yeah, I know, uh, this video was a little bit longer, but guess what? My first shot was two hours long. It took me like two days to edit, and then I was like, no, I can't show that, it's too long. So, you should be happy about it. Bisous, bisous.